What's up guys? So, we are back and I wanted to give you a little preview on the hardware cloth here. Um, I purchased a 100 foot roll. It's uh, four feet wide or tall and 100 feet long of hardware cloth and um, it's uh, pretty heavy duty stuff, the galvanized, I think it's 19 gauge. And um, basically what I did, because originally I had tilled all of this, basically what I did is I just I had to get back out the standard garden rake here. And um, I just took a standard rake and I just started to rake all of this stuff back and go all the way down the run. And then I rolled that cloth literally from here, as you can see. Um, and I started out here. I rolled it all the way down and basically cut it and left it lay. And then I flipped it, picked it up and kind of flipped it. And this stuff is not easy to handle. It's, uh, it's um, like wrestling an unconscious person. It's very difficult. And so basically I got it turned as much as I could on one end. I started on that end and I worked my way down and I wire tied um, right there. And I just did three wire ties to get it started. And I overlapped a little so I could kind of bend it over here and get that protected. And I just started flipping it and pulling it, like yanking it down and getting the slack out. Like I said, it's difficult, but I tried to line it up here as even as possible as I could um, with where I had dug out. And I just started stepping on it, guys. I just started pressing on it and getting it to where it was pressed down and uh, just doing that. And what I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna go down to this end. I'm gonna wire tie it down on this end to make sure we're secure down here as well. Um, and then I'm just gonna go right along and hog ring all the way across. And I'll show you that process. All right, what's up everybody? Forgive me if I'm a little winded. <laughs> I've been busting my butt the last couple hours, at least trying to get this one side uh, predominantly done. Uh, start, we'll start fresh tomorrow morning, maybe late morning. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to give you guys kind of a, a little preview that I, um, I basically am taking the rake and I'm shooting this by myself because the kids are and Heather inside, she's making some delicious homemade cookies. And uh, the, the, there's mosquitoes galore where we live. I don't want to get anybody else bit up. So I am basically taking this rake and just shoving everything, as you can see, just working all the dirt back that I, uh, that I raked out and just trying to even it out. Now, of course, it might not all be perfectly even, but basically um, I'm gonna get everything I can back over there and um, on top and then I'm gonna probably put some additional topsoil, um, get some more bags and throw a little bit of additional topsoil on top. Actually quite a bit because Heather is actually going to, as soon as this is done, she's gonna come out and plant a bunch of herbs and some sunflowers and a bunch of stuff that the chickens love. and they're going to be that's going to help you know shield them and probably keep away some uh some critters and um i don't know this place is going to be like fort knox so if something gets in here then uh it deserves a chicken no i'm just kidding um so i'm gonna come back and uh like i said i'll i'll show you this when it's all covered over and i've got it hog ringed and uh, it's all done and then we're going to work the other sides and, and just get it all done. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've got the this all dug out. I came along the back side. I finished the front side over there, patted all the dirt down, as you can see. 
and uh, we're gonna lay some additional dirt on top of that so Heather can plant but uh, I basically just took uh, uh, the rake again oh this was kind of matted I raked it all back and then I, uh, I rolled the the hardware cloth out and just kind of cut it about the same length as I did the other side just a little bit longer and I drug it back here got a little beat up in the process but got it all stomped down and uh, you know really what you want to do is step on it and get it pressed as close as possible and um, once it's in the ground now you're clipping it right then I can hog ring it yep you just go right along with your hog ring pliers and you find a pretty much every length of chain link you can get so I would recommend getting two boxes of hog rings if you get the DeWalt kit like I got it comes with one box of a thousand rings but oh see I had a little a little mistake it happens um, if you get the thousand ring um, kit buy another box if they've got it um, the only place I've been able to find this is tractor supply that's it so you could probably order it online I think yeah even our farm and feed store didn't have it no yeah. um, our uh, our farm and feed store didn't have it Home Depot doesn't carry it Lowe's don't carry it um, track supply was the only place so neither uh, far, uh, far, family farm and home and you didn't can have find it one online that has like a side feeder they were cheap for like $12 I would be careful about that one this one actually works pretty good and I've showed I showed it to you in the other video uh, previous video Which so I'll link up above yeah so you're pretty much just gonna go right along and every link of chain you're gonna uh, hog ring it just like the other side as you can see that one's completed and um, it works out really well so now the little chickies won't <laughs> smash their heads out and try to because they were trying to squeeze their bodies out of them holes um, anyway um, so I'm gonna do that all the way down the line same side and then I'm gonna do this small side here I dug that up I'm actually gonna lay um, I cut the wire here and laid it down and then I hardwired I, I wire tied this again and I'm gonna get a length that's gonna go all the way down here and I'm actually gonna lay a piece by the gate here even though I'm not going up there I'm gonna lay it on the ground and bury it because this is the only vulnerable spot that doesn't have hardware cloth across right. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna put it up here and then lay it down and bury it because um, this would be the only vulnerable spot so I'll make sure that uh, I get that done and and bury it all and we'll come back and take a look at it when it's all finished okay <laughs> There they are again. Look. Okay. So as you can see, guys, I'm uh, making my way back across. I've hog ringed all the way down, wire tied it there, and uh, I'm just taking this, the bottom end of the, the rake, and pushing all that back in. Now, I'm pushing all that grass up there too, um, just because. Those clumps of grass will all root back down again. And uh, just get as much of this up there as possible. Try to get it covered. And uh, yeah, that grass will root back down. A couple of rains will get that grass growing again and it'll all firm up and root up again. And then it'll get all intertwined within the hardware cloth, which is what you want, really. I mean, ultimately, it's just a good thing to have if you can do it. So, just pushing all this sod back up on there, basically big chunks of it. And I get some of that. And there you go. I'll go all the way down, and then uh, I'll do the end piece, and we'll come back and we'll wrap it all up. All right, what's cracking, everybody? So, losing light. Beautiful sunset there, and uh, just one of the bring you guys up to speed got it all wired here 
cut a piece a little, well, about 10 foot, um, just a little bit over. And uh, I draped it all the way across and actually draped it down onto the ground. And um, then I cut a very small section, literally two of these little air sections down the middle. Um, left it overlap and I wired it here wired it on both posts and then wired it on the bottom as well and had it Basically, I cut it across the bottom so the bottom would come Literally right up against the bottom the very bottom of the kennel so not the bottom gate pole post, but the bottom of the kennel post and uh, I pushed all of this massive amount of dirt that I pulled out of here um, and had big clumps of sod. Literally, I was laying back down with my hands and uh, stomped on it good, slammed it with a shovel a bunch of times. I wanted to get the ground down far enough to where when I get this open, I can open it up freely without any issues and I can do that. And so I made sure I overlapped um, and then it opens just fine all the way. It's got a little bounce back, which is fine by me, just in case there's some chickens coming out. So, um, and it does open inside, but it overlaps a little bit there, so it does catch a little. So I'd rather open it to the outside um, and do it that way. I've hog ringed it again up at the top, all the way across. So it's hog ringed all the way around at the top. It comes out about, um, ooh, about a foot, foot and a half on each side and uh, it's buried all the way around we're gonna get some more topsoil I do have to get a little bit more dirt um, I've got a cover over here where I didn't have a, a lot of dirt left over and um, I have to cover over in that corner there just a little bit um, doesn't really matter but I'm gonna cover it up anyway and I came out on this side uh, and wired this up too so we are good to go. Um, I am going to finish it up with a couple of, with one, um, I'm going to cut a section probably about six inches long and I'm going to wire that maybe a little longer and I'm going to wire that up here and uh, just wire to this post and I'm just going to let it lay up against here just as kind of some added protection. I'm going to do it on the other side. So the light is waning and uh, I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes so I'm gonna head in um, probably gonna pick up some dirt tomorrow um, maybe next week I'm not so concerned about it now that the hardware cloth is down and it's just about completely buried um, and touch up those two little areas I mentioned before so now uh, the next part of this video this is part two doing the hardware cloth the next part is going to be cutting that door for this section. Probably going to put it somewhere in there. And um, I've got some 2x4s to build a perch, a four-tier perch uh, for inside the coop. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get to that point. And um, then I'm going to have some... Uh, some boards, probably um, probably four by eights uh, to use as the ramp that comes out of the door on each side for the chickens. I don't know, we'll see. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, any questions, concerns, comments, go ahead and put them down in the comments section and I'll try to answer them my best I can through Heather. Thanks.